Uh, at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, from the University of Florida, uh, last year's winner of the Heisman Trophy, winner, uh, Mr. Tim Tebow. And I'll do it. Are you questions for Tim? Tim, what do you think of the, the outcome when you was playing or were you I mean, uh, you know, obviously, as a competitor, you know, I would have loved to win, uh, but I'm happy uh, for Sam, and I would have been happy for Cole. Tim, do you think any solace for the fact that you had more first-place coaches than you ever did? Do what? Do you think any solace for the fact that you had more first-place coaches than you ever did? I'll tell you the truth, not really. You lose, you lose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, do, I do think it shows that either they love us or they hate us. Uh, that's good or nation, though, so... Uh, yeah, I kind of love that uh, about us. Hey, Tim, where do you stand on your decision to come back and play next year? And, and well, these last know, few right. days... I mean, that was the same before the Heisman as it was now. Uh, you know, I guess even more motivation maybe for one more year. I actually, I don't know. <laughs> Tim, did you uh, prepare yourself for uh, this kind of outcome? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I try to prepare myself to win or lose to handle like, graciously and uh, with respect and um, you know, yeah, for everybody else. This is a little different, Tim Tebow, than the loss following Ole Miss. I mean, but didn't see me with that equity, that equanimity about that. Yeah. Uh, did you learn from that? It's the kind of thing they say, no, okay, sports you're going to lose on occasion and you taking that emotion. Yeah, if I just lost a football game, I would still act the same way as I did. Uh, but, you know, I'm so competitive and, yeah, I'm still upset about it, yeah, but. At the same time, you know, I'm happy for him, and um, you know, we still get to play on January, and besides, I'm a little bit better, so I'm kind of excited about that. But if, if you don't win that game, and they're a very good team that you're playing against, I mean, let's just focus on that game. Sorry. Tim, does this add a little different new storyline for you going into the national championship game? It has whatever storyline you want to talk about. <laughs> Um, the same thing that I said to him uh, before, um, you know, I grabbed both those guys and I said, hey, you know, this is a big platform, uh, and I said, you know, no matter what happens or who wins, just, you know, go up there and uh, give God credit because he deserves it, and um, you give the people who deserve credit, credit, and, uh, you know, that's why I was very happy um, with these three guys, with these two other guys who knew, you know, all three of us would do that, and, um, you know, I just went up to him afterwards, I told him, you know, I thank you for, for giving God the credit uh, because there's a lot of kids and a lot of people watching. Um, I need to hear that lives will be changed because of that um, and because of what I did last year and you know, I knew that so I wanted to give him that advice and uh, I thought he did a great job with it. Do you think it gives your defense more motivation you want to put the Um, I think so. I think uh, you know, they're a little bit excited. They've already got quite a few texts from some guys. So, yeah. <laughs> You think you'll have fewer distractions now going into the game? I don't think it, it'll have been that big of a distraction anyways. We'll get asked about, you know, me winning or him winning. Either way, it's just going to be about the same. There's going to be a lot of questions, period. Yeah, I think you got left off about 150 fouls. Even though you got more first place. Um, what does that say? Either they love us or they hate us. Uh, you know, that's Florida, though. Uh, and it's great. I appreciate everybody who voted. And, you know, they voted for me. They thought I was, you know, worthy of it. And I appreciate that. Um, and if, you know, they didn't think I was worthy, oh well, I still get one more chance, right? <laughs> I've been told the whole time, but I'll tell you now. No. <laughs> Tim, last year you said you wanted to work on your decision making in the offseason. Do you think you made strides there? And uh, if so, what are you going to this offseason? I think I made strides. Um, yeah, I think I got a lot better at it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. After the year's over, I'm going to sit down and look at everything. And, um, see what I thought my strengths and my weaknesses were and try to improve all of them. Tim, before this trip, you didn't know Sam at all. You've gotten known pretty well this week. Talk about uh, your impression. I, I think he's a great guy. Um, you know, I think he's, uh, he's someone who deserves that award. He's someone who's uh, very nice and someone who I uh, got along with well. And I'm um, yeah, happy for him. Tim, you've said a couple of times now that that's the way it is with Florida. That they love you with they hate you. Why is that? I don't know. I think it probably started with Spurrier Swagger, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, with, with how he handled his situations and they kind of either drew people in or kind of made, you know, other people not like the Gators in the swamp and everything. And I think that really started with him um, and just, you know, how he approached everything. Do, do you relish that? Do you like that? Kind of do, yeah. Don't, don't ride on the fence. <laughs>
do that with us. Let's not bother. Let's go or, you know, go well. Sounds like you're talking about like you're going to need that next year for sure, is that I, I don't know. I don't. I never said that. I don't know. I mean, I still gotta sit down, and look at it, just like always. Our last question. You're blaming. You're blaming Story for losing the Heisman tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> not, a, not at all. Uh, you know, if anything, he's just got more success at University of Florida, so I'm thankful for him. And uh, yeah. At this time, folks, any of our uh, Florida guys that would like to do some one-on-ones with Tim, we'd ask you to please go to that back corner. We're going to bring Colt out in a moment. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Go Gators.